called your cable company. The Maury Povich Show, weekdays at 2 on WNBC 4 New York. exciting cities in the tri-state area it's late night with david letterman tonight bob and ray charles panati with a look into the future bill wakeman and his dog man ray a report from george miller in his room a tour of the nbc commissary sing a harp man and viewer man and now a man about whom it's been said huh david letterman Thank you very much. My name is David Letterman. Welcome to our show. And uh, just off the top of my head, we got anybody here who has kind of an interesting story about winning a contest? <laughs> See, you know, for, for you folks at home, the audience uh, comes in around noon. We spend the day getting to know one another and uh, we have a hot buffet and then maybe a sauna, a steam bath, and a rub down. And then we come in and do the show, have a couple of drinks, and. Uh, uh, what a show we've assembled for you folks. Uh, you've already seen one of our guests. Uh, that was Man Ray the dog. And uh, uh, Man Ray will be back with uh, his owner and video artist, uh, William Wegman. And uh, there's, this is such a great show for you folks to be in attendance. If you ever go out with somebody on a first date or something and you don't really know too much about the person and you want to find out if he or she has a good sense of humor, one quick, easy way, if they like Bob and Ray, they're okay. Bob and Ray are here tonight. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Bill Wegman is a young artist who lives here in Manhattan. A few years ago, he turned his talents to videotape, and he has found that, among other things, his dog, Man Ray, makes an excellent subject. Uh, they're both here tonight. First of all, please welcome Bill Wegman. We saw your dog, uh, Man Ray, at the very beginning of our show. Uh, you're a video artist. Uh, what other sorts of things do you do? What is a video artist first, I well, guess? Uh, a lot of artists, or at least myself, in the late 60s were painting was dead, or so we thought. So <laughs> alternate media were coming up. Like a lot of people were doing performances or electronic art. Yeah. And uh, I was teaching uh, conceptual art at the University of Wisconsin. And they had a video machine there that they used to document lectures and so forth. And I just muscled it up into my studio and started... Stole it, eh? Stole it, yeah. yeah. And it's, I'd look at the back of my head for the first time uh -huh. and say, wow, that's really strange. <laughs> and I did rather narcissistic works for a while until I moved to California and I got uh, a dog for my wife who was pestering mm -hmm. me about it. So. And how did the dog get into yeah. the, the videotaping? I was doing floor pieces, things like that. And he was just a total pest, an impossible dog. Uh -huh. and I'd be taping something on the floor, and there he was. But he looked great. He looked uh -huh. a lot better than the 
bits of cheese or nails or whatever it was I was conceptually yeah. placing in the corner. Yeah. And uh, oh, he was gray, and that seemed to suit black and white video very well. What is the, the name Man Ray? What should we know about that? Man Ray is this fantastic artist that was born in around the turn of the century and along with Marcel Duchamp and a few other people invented what's known as Dada art mm -hmm. and later surrealism. And um, I, I don't know, he... Um, Is he still alive? No, he died in 76. Uh -huh. Yeah, I got a lot of phone calls uh, of remorse and I said, no, no, it wasn't the dog, it was the artist. <laughs> <laughs> People were greatly relieved, were they? <laughs> It felt weird to hear that. You know, yeah. Uh, when you, do, you, do you have uh, exhibits uh, around the country, all over the world? Or you just internationally. Yes. Internationally. So your dog is a global celebrity. He's a, eh? He is international art star. He's, he's in the Museum of Modern Art. No kidding. Some photographs. There. What are, What are we going to see first uh, of the um, videotapes? This was. Can I introduce it? It's, Please it's, do. Uh, I was driving up to Syracuse. First of all, Man Ray is a California dog. Yes. Yeah. California dog, Long Beach, and so he was brought up around the beach, and that's his favorite uh, area. Mm -hmm. And I was looking for uh, Walnut Street in Syracuse, and I was driving around, you know that one too? And <laughs> so he came to uh, Cherry Street and then Beach Street, and I said, Cherry, Beach, and suddenly my dog went bonkers. This is like miles <clears throat> from the beach. So, uh, and it was spelled B-E-E-C-H. Mm -hmm. So when I got back to New York, I had moved to New York, I, I set up a piece that involved uh, the incorrect spelling of beach. Okay, the dog and the incorrect spelling of beach. Man Ray, take a look at that now. You've got uh, P-A-R-K was spelled correctly. And that was good. Wait a minute. And you spelled uh, O-U-T right. But when it came to beach, you spelled it. B E E C H, which is like a uh, well, there's a gum called beach nut gum. But the correct spelling is we meant beach like the sand, so it's it should have been like the ocean. B E A C H. See that's the difference. But remember it next time. Okay. Spelling lesson. We're going to take a look at an, another one. Well, here's Man Ray now, as a matter hey. of fact. Hello, fella. How are you? <laughs> we had this elaborate introduction for the dog whereby he was going to uh, follow this path of milk, and he's uh, already out here. In fact, that's how we get most of our guests out here. We put a little milk down on the floor, and they find their way on out. Uh, while Man Ray is... Uh, Bill, do you want to you want to introduce uh, the the next tape? Wrong way. <laughs> we yeah, have uh, okay. one more bit of videotape with uh, Man Ray and another dog. I think while he's uh, cleaning up here, can we can we take a look at that? Okay. What is is it's, anything you need to tell us about that? Well, it's it's an, Ray had been working in video for about five years when I did this tape, and there's a novice. It's her debut. Uh -huh. so oh this well, this would be exciting. <laughs> tape with two dogs. Okay, so this is Man Ray and uh, what's the other dog's name? I forgot. Okay. A bit player. Yes. <laughs> Are they the same kind of dog? It's a German short hair. This, of course, is Man Ray on the right. Very nice job, Man Ray. And uh, how old a dog? How old a dog is Man Ray? He's 11. Yeah. And how long have you been doing the? You said that he's been in these tapes now for. He's 11, and I've been doing them for 12 years. So my first year wasn't very successful. Yeah. What when uh, the day comes when Man Ray moves on, as as all dogs must do. There he uh, goes. There you go. Oh, do you have Do you have somebody you can replace him with, or are you just? Uh, 
I have a tomb, and I think I'll be buried along with him. So, so that'll be the end of the Man Ray tapes. Right. <laughs> this is sort of interesting, isn't it? <laughs> very nice. Uh, Bill, thank you very much for being here with your dog and animal. William Wegman, ladies and gentlemen, and Man Ray. We'll be right back. about done here this evening. I want to thank the studio audience, you folks were wonderful. I appreciate you being here also. My uh, thanks to Bob and Ray, uh, Charles Panati, Bill Wegman, and his dog, Man Ray, our announcer, Bill Wendell, and of course, Paul Schaefer and the band you met earlier. Uh, on Monday, uh, Andy Rooney will be here, comedian Franklin Ajay, and the curator of the Potato Museum. I'm just guessing this is a misprint. Uh, also, uh, George Miller was to be with us with another report from his room. We'll have that report on Monday, so pencil that into your TV guide. Um, <laughs> Now to close our show uh, is our special Valentine's Day present to you, direct from Ramada Inns Everywhere, the vocal stylings of Mr. Harv Mann with a very special medley of your favorite situation comedy themes. Harv! <laughs> Kathy, who's lived most everywhere, from Zanzibar to Barclay Square. Ah, but Patty's only seen the sights a girl can see from Brooklyn Heights. What a lovely pair, but they're cousins, identical cousins, and you'll find cousins who are two of a kind. Kind of makes you want to think about being alone with that crazy pair on a deserted island. Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale. A tale of a fateful trip that started from this tropic part aboard this tiny ship. The ship's aground on the shore of this uncharted desert isle. But with it again and all the rest elegant <laughs> Let's uh, take a little trip down to the junction. And how about, how about my favorite rock and roll band? Here we come. Yeah. Walking down the street. We get the funniest looks from everyone we meet. Hey, hey, when I'm walking. I never miss the reruns of this great old show. If I can help it. Tell you why. Cause it's the story of a man named Brady who was busy with three young boys on his own. There were four men living together, but still they were alone. Then one day, they, he met this lovely lady. I knew that it was much more than a hunch. Sunday, an NBC season 